Hello and welcome to another video. The replacement pump for one of the methane pumps that got removed last night has arrived today. And to the right of it, we can see a motor that drives the pump. I'm not sure if it is the one that was removed or is it a replacement one. They are gonna need all those four pumps to fill the Starship for the first orbital test flight. Earlier we could see venting under Starship 24. I think they are stabilizing the vehicle by venting out the excess pressure building up because of the heat. Workers could also be seen going up and down the skirt of the ship. Maybe they are fine-tuning the engines. SpaceX had already conducted multiple spin prime tests on all six engines last week. So, is a pre-burner or a static fire on the card next week? What do you think? There is also non-stop delivery of liquid oxygen to the orbital tank farm. Crews are seen working all day long on the orbital launch mount indicating that a booster will sit on top of it pretty soon. Things are heating up fast at Starbase toward the first orbital test flight. So, not to miss anything. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the latest updates and development. SpaceX's 33rd mission of the year was successfully launched today from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Falcon 9 carrying another batch of 53 Starlink satellites soared into the sky beautifully. The first stage booster landed for the eighth time on the drone ship A short fall of Gravitas. Can you see something new in this shot? The Starship launch tower is almost halfway through from its full height. Can't wait for that day when SpaceX starts launching Starships from Florida. Well, that is it for now. Thank you for watching.